Heavy rain had preceded the fourth ITU World Cup event of the year in Huatulco, Mexico. But much better conditions were forecast for race day as the elite women lined up on the beach for the one lap 750 metre swim. Pleasantly warm conditions meant it was a non-wetsuit swim in Santa Cruz Bay. 39 athletes hit the water and they were soon swimming in a long line with the USA's Julie Stupp leading the way. It was Stupp that was first back onto the beach to head for transition. Switzerland's Yolanda Annan was in second. Another American athlete, Taylor Spivy, third, with Erin Densham just behind. Rene Tomlin was a little further back. A steady stream of athletes were now heading for T1. Out on the 20-kilometer bike, the lead group tackled the large hill for the first time, with Densham and Tomlin part of the pack. But the larger chase group had the leaders in their sights as they worked hard to reduce the deficit over the energy-sapping hill climb. On lap two, Tomlin dropped out of the lead group after choosing the wrong gear going up the hill on lap one. A costly mistake as she was well behind the leading group. As the bell signaled the last lap, 16 athletes were now in the lead group as the hill climb began to take its toll. By the time they negotiated the hill one final time, it was Chile's Valentina Cavallo that led into T2, and she would be first out on the two-lap five-kilometer run. Cavallo immediately established the lead as she went in search of her first World Cup podium. The Chilean, who won her national championships in 2013, was looking strong at the front. Near the end of lap one, the lead had grown. Mateja Simic from Slovenia had run into second, but she was being challenged by Yolanda Anan. Having been in second spot for virtually the whole of lap one, Simic was passed by Anan and then by the USA's Kirsten Kasper. Anan was now comfortably on her own in second with 1.5 kilometers to go, while Kasper, who came into T2 30 seconds off the pace after getting caught up in a crash on the first lap of the bike, was third. That's the way things stayed over the latter stages, as Cavallo had time to celebrate her first World Cup title, crossing the line in just over an hour and six minutes. A delighted Annan came in second, 28 seconds behind the winner, while Kirsten Kasper made sure to keep up the USA's record of a podium finish in every World Cup or World Triathlon Series race so far this season. I feel very good in the bike, uh, I make a very good transition, I think so when do you out the transition first, uh, you are here this different and I I'm, I'm go all the time thinking oh my god I'm going first, I can do, I can do, go, 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 go and, and it's so emotional, yeah it's my first win in the World Cup and this year is my first win in the Pan American Cup and very good year for me. Yeah, a bit panic after the third or fourth time in the back hill, so I think oh, it would be really tough on the run course. Then I start not too uh, fast, and after two kilometers, I tried to push, and it was so hard at the end. <laughs> Had a good swim, came out with the first pack. The bike course is definitely challenging, so I um, got caught up on the last lap in a little bit of bike crash, and so I was chasing when I got onto the run, and I just tried to keep momentum and build as I went and catch, keep catching the girls in front of me. Y ahora sí, les pedimos a ellos que pasen a tomarse la fotografía con las ganadoras.